we all know that we can automatically generate a tab table of content which i did in a previous video you can automatically generate a table of content for your document but not many people know that you can do the same for your list of tables and your list of figures so in this video i'll be showing you how to generate automatically um your list of tables and your list of figures now like i said in the previous video we will be working with styles and this is the backbone behind automatically generating either your table of content or your list of tables list of figures now the first thing we want to do is to go to my document and find out all of the the figures and um tables we have so we have one figure here these are some figures and there are a few tables that i also created just for this demo so we won't create that now in your styles um i would suggest even though you may find um a a figures and a tables style in your document but i would suggest that you create your own style and i will show you how to go about it i did that in the previous video but i'll just show you again I already created one for figures so i will just create one and call it for ten. Now, but it's the same way you do it. So I'll tap tables and modifier. Now I want to do a style based on normal, like I did the first time. Times New Roman 11. Now, for my tables, I want my tables to be left aligned. Um, I don't want it to be bold. I did it left aligned and my color, normal automatic color. So I said automatically updates. And then you can click OK. Now, so what is that it adds a, a style here for you called tables? It was the same way I did for figures as well. Now, um, your chapter one, this should be heading one. So I just change it back to heading one. So what I want to do is go through my document for my figure. Now, this is figure 1.1. Now, and all I need to do is click figures. And I've updated it now. I set my figures to be in the center. I just want it to be at the center. Now, if you don't want yours at the center and want it at the side, I already showed you what to do. Come to figures, right click, um, and say modify. Now, so this is where I put center, so I can change it to the left if I want and just click OK. So it comes there. Now, that's figure 1.1. Now I go to figure two, figure 1.2 and click figures. That's all. Figures. I click this, I click figures. Um, that's all for figures. Now the next for tables. So let's do the same thing for tables as well. Now let's format this the way we want it. I want it times new Roman. Um, okay, so let me come here. I want it 11 like all the others, and I want it on the left side. Okay, that's all. Now, so you come to tables, right click, and say update tables to match selection. Now, that was one way. Remember when I was doing for figures, I came to figures and I did multiple. So you can also go the way and come here and say modify tables. Then you arrange it the way you want to do it. Make sure this is call um, black. Change the, the font and size and right, left, center, whichever way, uh, spacing, double spacing, whichever way you want to do it, and click OK. And then when you do that, you can come here and just click on tables. And go to the other one this is the second table and click on tables so now so we've already formatted our tables and our figures and we are ready to generate our list of tables and list of figures now one thing you should please note particularly when you're working with dissertation for your figures your figure titles should be under figure and for the tables the table should be on top of your table now, so let's go and generate. Let's go to our content um, list of tables. 
generate our list of tables now to generate list of tables you need to come to references the references tab then you see what you call insert table of figures and click on it. now it opens this for you and we are trying to create for tables okay so let's go and click options now we want to build tables of figures from styles but remember it's tables you want to build so you change it from figures and search for tables and click tables so what it will do is that it will generate everywhere you have formatted as tables so from style and click ok but we want it to show a caption label of table this table that so you say table under caption label and that's all you need hyperlinks instead of page numbers yes you click that show page numbers yes if you don't click this it won't show you the page numbers but we want it to show the page numbers now if you click ok it automatically generated those two tables that we have for you with the page now um one thing you will discover is that you have table 1.1 table 2.1 shouldn't be in your chapter one you're supposed to have um depending on your naming convention that depends on you anyway but let's assume you want to do table 1.1 and instead of this being table 2.1 it should be table 1.2 and in your list of tables you can see 2.1 here please don't come here and manually change this to 1.2 no what to do is to go to where it is if you hold down your control if you hold down your, you click it it will take you to where it is so to go to where the document change it to one two now once you change to 1.2 here then you can go back to your list of tables Right click on your tables and say update field update entire table okay then you can see that it has changed to table 1.2 so that's how you do it let's go and list of figures the same way in your reference tab insert table of figures options to build from styles and this time around will be figures so we leave it as figures and click ok our caption label should be figure this we want it to show page numbers and we want hyperlink now so once you click ok it generates your for you um, but again we can see that there are mistakes 1.1 to 1.1 again 1.1 so we want to go and change it to 1.3 and 1.4 so if you hold down your control and you click um sorry okay sorry about that now so we want to change this to figure 1.3 and figure 1.4 so once you've done that and you go to your list of tables list of figures you can do the same right on it and say update field update entire table now so it's corrected please try not to change um, errors from your table behind the document i'm going to do. so you've seen how to um, include your list of figures and list of tables automatically now um, if you look at your your document you would um see this for example this and in your table you don't want your tables breaking into different pages except if your table is quite long and you don't really have a choice so what i want to do is to move all of this to the next page now but once you know that many things are going to change um your your table 1.2 is page 6 your list of tables is showing that it's page five so all you need to do is come back here again and click update field and you can say update entire table and then it changes to table six so this makes it very very easy 
you can keep building your um your table you can keep building all your tables and your figures and all you need to do is make sure you format it um use the proper styles the appropriate styles and then go and update so let's assume i insert another figure here for example if i were to insert a figure a picture um let's insert this mouse so if i were to insert this mouse and i called it figure one point i don't know now 1.6 sorry about it. so if i click and i say um, um and i say image image showing a mouse all right so all i need to do is click on it and select figures once i select it as figures then the next thing to do is to go to my list of figures and update update field update entire table okay now oops it should be 1.5 and not 1.6 so don't change it from here go where it is i'm going to change it to figure one Point five. Go back to your list of figures. Right click. It's field. That table. Sorry. Update field. Update and that table. Okay. So it's updates. Them. So um, with that, you have seen um, the different ways. Then from time to time, come back to your table of contents and update your table as well. Update entire table. So it scans through your document and just updates your content for you so with this it makes it very very easy you can keep building your documents add figures add tables and just update it from the top i hope you have found this video useful thank you very much